Senator Dino Melaye admitted into hospital after a deal with police. National Assembly to investigate theft of Senate maze. Former Information Minister bags presidency over lazy youth comments. And in sports, Super Eagles captain Michael be hopeful of Eagles World Cup performance. These and more stories in a moment. I am Nten Ekman with the AM News on Television Nigerian. Welcome to Living Treasures Academy. Enjoy a conducive and serene learning environment. Qualified and experienced teachers. Equipped computer laboratory and library. Secured atmosphere. Extracurricular activities. An all embracing curriculum for total development of the child. Comprehensive education for leadership. Join us today from crash to secondary levels. Leaving Treasures Academy. Committed to excellence. Reports reaching us say operatives of the Nigerian police force were engaged in a scaffold with Senator Dino Melaye at the Area 1 axis of the Federal Capital Territory. The police operatives reportedly tried to take the embattled lawmaker to Kogi State, where he is expected to stand trial for arms, running, and other related offenses. The lawmaker's refusal to join the police to Kogi State led to a heated exchange with Senator Dino Melaye allegedly jumping out of a moving police vehicle in which he is being transported. Other accounts say that the lawmaker was thereafter taken to the office of the special anti robbery squad in Abuja, less than five kilometers from the scene of the incident. Meanwhile, the senator has been admitted into the intensive care unit of Zankli Hospital in Abuja. In other news, a joint committee of the National Assembly is set to investigate last week's invasion and theft of the maze of the upper chamber by thugs allegedly linked to Senator Ovi Omoagege. The president of the Senate disclosed this after over two hours of executive session. The meeting, which held behind closed doors, had the maze snatching saga dominating discussions as the House resolved to constitute a committee to unravel the circumstances surrounding the ugly incident. Senator Saraki also commended the office of the Sergeant at Arms for courageously responding to the invasion as he sought the cooperation of Nigerians to defend democracy. The President of the Senate added that the legislature will do all it can to ensure the sustenance of democracy, insisting that the security architecture of the National Assembly will be reviewed to prevent a repeat of the incidents. A former Minister of Information, Tony Momo, believes that President Muhammad Buhari's oh, uh, a former Minister of Information, Tony Momo, believes that President Muhammad Buhari owes no one an apology over his reported comments that described Nigerian youths as lazy. Momo said the President was right for saying a lot of Nigerian youths are sitting at home doing nothing. Momo, a leader of the ruling All Progressives Congress, said this in an interview with the National Daily. Momo said that unlike other professional politicians, President Muhammad Buhari was never afraid of speaking the truth. He further asked the president not to apologize to the country's youth as he accused them of staying at home doing nothing. He stressed that the president's apology should be directed at government's effort at the, at the need as the need for youths to be patient with administration in his drive to create opportunities for the youths. After the break, Abia South Senatorial District begins recall of Senator Abaribe. And in sports, Super Eagles Captain Mikel will be hopeful of superb outing against England. And on the foreign scene, United States President warns Iran of serious problems ahead. For almost a decade, the Nigerian army have given their all to ensure that our dear country is not overrun by Boko Haram insurgents. 
somehow in the process paid the ultimate price, while many will forever live with indelible scars occasioned by their determination to protect the country, no matter the hurdle. Despite these, they have remained resolute and undaunted, and today, all territories the insurgents once took control of have been recaptured and normalcy restored. And now, for the first time in a long time, the end of Boko Haram is foreseeable. Therefore, the wisest thing for the remaining insurgents to do is to surrender today or face total destruction from the army. Remember, the Nigerian army will stop at nothing to ensure that total peace is restored in all parts of the country. So, be wise and embrace peace today or get ready to be ruthlessly dealt with. This message is brought to you by the Coalition on Conflict Resolution and Human Rights in Nigeria. Thanks for staying tuned. The people of Abia South Senatora District have commenced the process of recalling Senator Eyinaya Abaribi, representing the area at the National Assembly. This followed the resolution reached by stakeholders from various political parties in the six local government areas in Abia South under the aegis of Coalition of Abia South Senatorial Movement. Leader of the movement, Paul Ikone, who addressed journalists in Aba, said the decision to recall Senator Abaribi was based on the failure of the senator to impact meaningfully on the welfare of the people through quality representation. Paul Ikone said the senator has failed to push for governance and good laws, insisting that the constituency can no longer tolerate the senator's led-back approach to the developmental issues of the area. And also speaking as the chairman of the Advanced People's Democratic Party, Ngobudu Nwanganga, observed that efforts to call the senator to order had not yielded positive results. And similarly, a member of the People's Democratic Party from Obingwa local government, Chima Nwere Uzo, said the move to recall Senator Abaribi was long overdue as he had derailed from the mandate given him, noting that there was nothing to show for his 12 years in the Senate. And to some sports news now, Super Eagles captain John Michael Obi has expressed confidence that the team will be at their best ahead of their June 2nd friendly match against England at Wembley. Michael Obi, who turned 31 recently, admitted that Gernot Rohr's men have little margin for error, explaining that the match comes up only two weeks before the Eagles' opening at the World Cup, Mika revealed that the proposed friendly will be a big occasion and a big match for both teams as they look forward to the Montreal proper. Nigeria faces Croatia in their first Group D match at the 2018 World Cup at the Kalingrad Stadium on Saturday, 16 June, before games against Iceland and Volgograd on the 22nd of June and South American side Argentina at St. Petersburg on the 26th of June. And moving to the foreign scene now, United States President Donald Trump has warned Iran of big problems if it resumes the nuclear program it agreed to curb in a 2015 international accord. Speaking in the White House, as he holds French President Emmanuel Macron, Trump called the Iran deal a disaster and insane. The U.S. president has been threatening to reject an extension of the nuclear pact concocted in the Obama era by, tw by 12 May deadline. Emmanuel Macron is in Washington lobbying Donald Trump to review the pact. Germany's Chancellor Angela Merkel is due to visit the U.S. Capitol on Friday to make a last-minute bid to dissuade Trump from potentially upturning the Iran agreement. Trump's warning comes a day after Iranian President Hassan Rouhani threatened severe consequences if the U.S. withdraws from the nuclear deal. And as the AM News on television, Nigerian, a look at the major stories once again. Senator Dino Milaye admitted to hospital after ordeal with police. National Assembly to investigate theft of Senate mace. Former Information Minister backs presidency over lazy youth comments. And in sports, we told you that Super Eagles captain John Michelobi is hopeful of an incredible performance by the Super Eagles at the World Cup. I am Nten Ekbang. Do have a pleasant Wednesday ahead of you. Bye for now.